Hello, my name is Roy Simpson, and I'm a professor of mathematics at Cassandra's for College in Sacramento, California. I had a hard time saying that there. Um, in this video, I want to uh, do a sample or an exercise from integral calculus. This would just be finding uh, the value of an integral involving an absolute value. And in general, uh, these would be uh, integrals that, or, or I'm sorry, functions that would overlap at some point on the interval from the lower to the upper limits there. And the best way to see that is to graph this. So I'm going to go ahead and graph this really quickly. And I think that's a pretty decent graph there, but I need to probably explode that up a little bit. So let me go ahead and select that and, and blow that up a little bit. All right, that's much better. So this tells me that one, I am uh, the absolute value says I, I need the positive or the signed area between these two curves. And uh, that's from negative one to one. And so you can kind of see from this graph here, if I graphed it properly, let's see, that tells me I want from negative one to one, let's at least show the borders of this region. I'll go ahead and shade in the areas we want to find. We want to find this yellow area here. And we also want to find, uh, let me get a nice green color in here, this green area here. And each of those areas um, are bounded by different upper functions and different lower functions. For example, from negative one to zero, the upper function is the black curve or y equals two to the x. Uh, and the lower function is y equals three to the x. So obviously, we're gonna have to split this integral uh, into two sections that going from negative one to zero, and that going from zero to one. So let's go ahead and draw that out really quickly. So this integral will be the same as an integral from negative one to zero uh, with respect to x, plus another integral going from zero to one, completing the circuit. The upper function for the first area, that green shaded area, is two to the x, so I'll write that first, minus, and then the lower function is three to the x. Remember, absolute values, that's what they're saying. I need the distance between these two functions, or in other words, the positive area between these two functions. And then, of course, uh, from zero to one there, the upper function is three to the x power, and the lower function is two to the x power. So then, from this point forward, it's just a little bit of, well, integration, so at least let's get that done. The antiderivative of two to the x is two to the x over the natural log of two. Uh, minus the antiderivative of three to the x is three to the x over the natural log of three. And these two must be evaluated from x equals negative one to x equals zero. And to that, maybe I'll put this in parentheses so it's a little clearer. To that, we're gonna go ahead and add the second group. And since we already talked about what the antiderivatives are, I'm just gonna write them in very quickly here. Do, 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 do. Uh, minus two to the x over natural log of two. And again, that's from x equals zero to x equals one. Now that I have that done, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this uh, picture so that I can finish out the problem here. Just give, my, give myself some room. And the rest of this problem is really just algebra. I'm gonna plug in, I remember the upper limit, The this evaluated the upper limit minus uh, this evaluated the lower limit. So let me go ahead and just quickly write that in. And I'm just pausing really quickly before I go to the second part. I haven't done the right hand bit yet, but I'm just pausing here just to show you that I'm slowly just inserting these, these evaluations, these upper and lower limits here. I'll clean this up in a moment, but let me go ahead and in maybe blue, write the second part of this. At this point, I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up. So everything with a negative exponent, I'm gonna drop downstairs, and everything with a zero exponent, I'm gonna make one. So this is just algebra. If you can figure it out from this point forward, that's fine, but I'm just gonna finish it out really quickly. Now at this point, I will go ahead and cancel any common uh, terms, I guess, or I say cancel, I mean combine like terms, but I think one of them does cancel kind of nicely. Let me, let me see here. One of these natural logs of two right here, I'll add another one of them. So I have two of those uh, over natural logs of two, and I'm losing two of them right there. So those cancel nicely, actually. Um, and then the stuff that's over natural log of three, I have three of them here. I'm losing one of them there, and I'm losing another one of them there. So, okay, I have only uh, one of them left. So at least I could 
kind of simplify a little bit there. So there we go. We have uh, 1 over natural log of 3. Let me just double check my mathematics. 3 minus 1. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then minus 1 over 2 natural log 2. And finally, plus 1 over 3 natural log of 3. And uh, I will again combine uh, one set of fractions. No reason to really combine uh, all these fractions, just maybe the stuff with a natural log of three. So I'll multiply top and bottom of this by three. So I have three of these things that are over three natural log three, and I'll add one more of them. So altogether, I should have four of those. So this should equal four over those three natural log threes minus the one over that two natural log two, and this is completely done. Okay, so most of this really was um, one, knowing that you have to graph this so that you can split this. Uh, anytime you see absolute values in integrals, that's a good idea to graph it just to see if there's a place where things split. Really, when you have to graph or take the integral of any function, you should probably double check that if it's a difference or a sum of functions. Um, but in this case, obviously, it helped out quite a bit. Uh, and then you also have just the arithmetic at the bottom. It's not really arithmetic, maybe algebra at the bottom. Oh, that's...